welcome back to the channel and today we got a bunch of cool things to share with y'all we're gonna get started so we can try to get through this video first up we got some products from a company that i really have been enjoying for a long time now that is jrw gear they make a lot of cool and interesting things i got to talk with them at blade show for a little bit and that was that and then they contacted me and asked if they could send a care package i said of course like i said i already love their stuff i bought this from blade hq a long time ago this right here is their cheat sheet it's basically like a knife maintenance tray it's a very compact one and I used to use it for that, but be honest, it makes appearances in some of my shorts just as some focal stuff off in the background. But whenever I need to do something in my knife room, then this is what I use. I just got some odds and ends, some scales for the Kaiser room in here, the extra scales driver that I use when I'm in here. But very, very quality made product. You got wood underneath here, nice thick wood. This top piece right here is aluminum bolted on and then what's cool this is a modular accessory type thing this little piece right here is made out of some dense silicone this gray backing and he sells other colors that you can put in here if you want to change it up and he sells some different textured things as well but let's get into the stuff that they sent over so first right here something that i've been thinking about picking up it's another thing that is great for taking you know some shots for either thumbnails or in the background for a youtube short stuff like this this i did not realize how dense these things look how thick that is super thick dense silicone and those are raised pyramids and what that works great for is putting your knives you know you can either stack knives on here or you can do like i'll probably do and use it for some of my videos and like i said just high quality products these run like 45 bucks on their site i thought they were more expensive than that for some reason but definitely will get some use on the channel for sure let's go to this right here another product that i had bought from them a long time ago i had seen this clip off of best damn edc Taylor Martin over there had this clip and he talked about it a whole bunch. So I picked it up. It's called their Tough Clip. It's like basically a, it was made out of titanium and it looked like a big old clothespin. I think it was, yeah, clothespin. I think that's what it was. And a buddy of mine asked me if he could use it because he was thinking about buying one. And I think I ended up gifting it to him. So I don't think I have that anymore. But they sent this along, made in the USA. This is another type of version of that. Comes with a sticker and some little uh, key rings in there so this one's also made out of titanium much thinner and basically you could put your keys on here and then you hook it to your belt loop and it's i mean weighs absolutely nothing so i'll definitely try that out they sent all kinds of stuff then they sent some swag it looks like you know i have a lot of these stickers if any of my duplicates i put them in my giveaway piles so you have the curator this is their normal sticker that I see a lot, and I love this sticker too, a little guitar pick style. And then here's some pause and read right here, or I don't know if you can scan that or not. And then it looks like they sent a cool Ranger Eye, and this says JRW on it. Love me some Ranger Eyes, like the white too. And then some Curator beads, some dense silicone beads, nice and lightweight, and blue is my favorite color. Anything that you see in this video, if it's available, I will link it down in the description. So we'll save this for last. This is super exciting. And I almost picked this up right before Blade Show. So this is basically like a big version of my Cheat Sheet Pro. Look at these stickers. JRW gear instead of Chiquita Banana. You see them right there? That's awesome. This is a nice full-size tray. So you have burlap, it feels like right here. You have some, it feels like, uh, what is that, particle board or MBF or something like that. And then you have all kinds of different slots. You got bit slots right here. I'm not sure what slots these are for, but I will, I will find something for that it's along with these. Maybe put a drivers in there and parts. You can put parts on the side. These have brass rivets, the G Flex clip, the judge. That must be a bottle of, oh, there it is. Yeah. So there you go. And then if you want to pause and read that. So what's in this Ziploc that came with this? Wait, real quick before I do anything. So you have like a hollowed out side. One thing I love about their, the two trays like this is they have these nice, hard, dense silicone rubber feet. And I mean, doesn't go anywhere. I like how you got the little like handle basically cut in right there. And you can see this, this is made out of wood. 
I mean, look at those rivets. That's awesome. So I'm going to probably use it as a maintenance tray. I'll probably use this one for my maintenance and the other one, like I said, for my shorts. We have a dry erase. Oh, okay, cool. Now I see what that's for. Durr. Got another cool sticker. This one will go in the giveaway pile. And we have a little dry erase type board here. It's made out of, it feels like acrylic. Can't tell. I will definitely put this to use. I will probably leave this in here to remind myself whenever I have to do certain videos and stuff. I love this. This is definitely, definitely going to come in handy. I promise you that. And it looks like we have another cool ranger eye right there. Love me some ranger eyes. I'll put that on my pouch. I'll use all this stuff and I'll probably do a video with everything and let y'all know how, how it's going. But this last thing is what I'm most excited about. I handled it at Blade Show. And here it is. This is the Trader. And what the Trader is, is an EDC fixed blade made in the US for them. Not sure who makes them. I don't know if they make them or if they have a company. They told me, I just forget. Look at that, really cool little uh, keychain. And another sticker for the giveaway pile. I keep one and then put the rest in the giveaway pile for y'all guys. It's funny, I almost bought this at Blade Show, but I didn't find them till Sunday and I totally forgot to go back to the booth. So it kind of worked out there. So this is definitely a cool little EDC fixed blade. Very nice Kydex, wow. Very nice, they must, they must be vacuum molded. Comes with a soft loop. Y'all know I'll probably slap an ulti clip on here. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is black rich light. I love the feeling of that. It, it's rich light, basically like a paper micarta. Nice positive click, absolutely no rattle, super lightweight. Do wish this was a fold over taco style sheath because it's already a very minimal fixed blade. It would have made this very, very compact. But you know, as light as it is and as thin as everything is, it should carry pretty well. Definitely will let y'all know. So here's the knife. I like the little scoop right here. Super, super comfortable. These are in CPM Magna Cut. I forgot what the HRC is on these. I will ask them before I do the full review. You got a nice, beautiful stone wash finish. This would make an excellent bench knife or like I said earlier, EDC fixed blade. That's the role it's gonna, it's gonna go for. Oh, look, there it is. Tactile knife co made it for them. Sweet. And they, a Rockwell there's, I think the 63 to 64, if I'm not mistaken. So this one's gonna be a fun one to test. You got a good sharpening tool to see where my fingernail is. You're gonna have tons of sharpening light before to widen. Feels like a flat grind, so it's not gonna be super thin, but it's gonna be a powerful little cutter because you got a straight edge. And this little spot right here, man, and the way this handle, luckily my two fingers fit perfect right there and this flares out. So it's nice and comfortable for my hands or initially it feels comfortable. You got some nice micro milling. This is, this is just first impressions. Like I said, I don't wanna go too far into detail because I'm gonna do a full testing and review on this one. So stay tuned. Like I said, if this is available, I will link it down below. We have some more really, really awesome stuff to check out. We got a brand new Voss Deed and I'm excited about this one. I did take it out for just a second just to clean it off, but let's check it out. So this is the Voss Deed Mini Nightshade in Titanium. Love the extra heft it gives. Reversible deep carry pocket clip inset into the frame. Blue aluminum accents here and here. Blue's my favorite color. And let's check it out. Let's, I'm hoping, let's see. Oh yeah, on the previous, some of the previous ones with the aluminum scales and the G10 scales that I got, the crossbar Omega Spring Tension wasn't, you know, that it was a little bit on the soft side. Well, they definitely tuned this one up perfectly and boy, is this thing snappy. Let's see what's still, this one is in S35VN. This is an excellent, excellent little knife. I can get a four finger grip on with my medium sized hands. You got that beautiful crown spine. And if you've never used a blade shape like this, 
It is one of the most versatile blade shapes that I know of. You can easily get the tip down on the things to drag through material. In hand cuts, it's going to act as almost like a recurve because that tip is going down like that. So once you catch it, once you catch that material, the more you pull in there, the deeper that belly is going to get. Then you have that full flat grind, so it's going to be super, super slicey. They have an excellent sharpening choil, super smooth action, and this one has the adjustable crossbar lock, so you can adjust the tension on those Omega Springs. Yeah, I like this one. I like the extra heft. When I, when I have smaller knives like this, I tend to like the extra heft in them. And if you don't like the extra heft, they do have a carbon fiber one in S35VN. Then they have a more budget friendly option in G10 and 14C, which is another excellent, excellent little knife. And they also sell them in aluminum, I think in 14C as well. Boss, do you know what we need next? We need an EDC fixed blade nightshade in the regular size. That would be great. Make that one seven, seven and a quarter inches long. Oh, that'd be awesome. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Would y'all like to see an EDC fixed blade nightshade? Make it nice and thinly ground like these are so they slice really, really well. That's the whole point of an EDC fixed blade. You don't want it to be a... Uh, hard use knife because it's it's a small knife. You're not going to be batoning much with that. They had a had a release date set on these, but something happened with the shipment. I think got slowed down somewhere, and it's going to be a little bit later. As soon as I find out the drop date on these, I will definitely let y'all know. I'll probably do a community post, or I, if I happen to have a video for this one. I have a Vossi video coming and maybe I'll add this one to it. All right, we got a new company that I'm gonna start working with. The name of the company is aurorablade.com. Man, they got some nice knives. So they sent me a knife to review here on the channel. Here's the knife. This is a Casanova Designs Black Swan. And let me show you this real quick. This is the packaging. This is some of the nicest packaging I think I've seen. So there's this maker's mark. As you can see, you have a double decker here. And then you just push right here, open this up. Comes with a cool sticker. There's the card. This is a uh, like a birth card. This is the Black Swan series. This flower, flower and birds. M390 steel and your handle is titanium with zirconium inlays. Very cool. What is this? So here's a blue out of the internals. If you want to pause and read that, you can. Comes with this, uh, is that a driver? Oh, look at that. That is super cool. You got a cleaning cloth here and it looks like a, another sticker. <laughs> I thought this was a bead for a second. What this is, is, is a tool, I'm guessing, to take that apart. So you have, this is probably for your pivot. And then it looks like uh, this is, well, I don't know. I'll have to look at it. I, this is I, literally, I just pulled this out of the box. I don't, I don't know what everything is already. And then it comes with its own Velcro pouch. So I thought I'd heard of this guy before. And I did, because I reviewed one of his designs. So if you've been on the channel for a while, you might have seen this review from my channel. I think I was the first one to have this knife up, or maybe one of the first, not or one of the first reviews, should I say. The designer of this is Kaz, and he's the guy who also designed the Neutron Star that I reviewed, tested and reviewed on the channel. And it was a really cool knife as well. And as you can see, this one has no body screws just like the Neutron Star did. And talk about a cool looking design. So you got titanium, you have zirconium inlays. So of course, if you go with the zirconium option, it's gonna give it, it's gonna add a little bit extra heft to it. But I think there's one other, there's one other version, I, I believe. Check that pivot out. Looks like Timascus in there. Either Timascus or Zirkati, I can never tell. And look, you even have a very fine micro milling on the tie. Look how tight that inlay is. And look at this beautiful, then see that, that looks like Zircotai. Am I, I'm not, I don't really know the difference between those materials. I know one has zirconium and Timascus is a bunch of different titaniums. 
but that is absolutely stunning blind screwed so it's screwed from the inside and look at this you also have that same pivot on this side and as you can see you have those four holes so that little tool is going to fit in there and absolutely no gaps on those inlays as you can see there and then titanium backspacer that uh, comes to a point and that's that's pretty uh, risky to do because whenever you have that center line point that tip needs to be right there and yes it is look at that perfecto so let's check this out you have it looks like a front flipper right here and look at those thumb studs let's see if those they don't look comfortable but let's see ah they're not bad at all so i got to see this on the open position on the site and i think it's absolutely stunning i love this blade shape it's got a low tip drop point so it's going to be versatile this has looks like yeah it looks like a vapor blasted finish which i i don't mind those at all because after testing tons of knives that have that it causes it to slice very very well because it's a very slick finish it glides through material like a lot less friction it looks nice it doesn't smudge up like a bead blast and then there's his maker's mark so you have that vapor blast here satin flats and it feels like that vapor blast on the spine as well this is an inset liner lock we're not gonna go too far in detail like i said because this is just a first impressions Ooh, nice and smooth and you also have that front flipper so yeah this is available i will have it linked as well i'm signing up for his affiliate program so it may be an affiliate link so if you decide to pick this up and you want to help support what i do here on this channel you can use my link if not no big deal at all stay tuned for the full review and testing on this bad boy and i can't wait to hopefully to be able to continue to work with aurora blades and we got one more that i've been having for a little bit just thought i'd show y'all it's, it's going to be in a video coming soon so this is coming from ned foss so this is a budget knife and it was going to be an amazon knife of the month pick but so here's the knife this is the ned foss cougar and i gotta say i you know i was looking through amazon and i saw this and man right away i ordered it this is all stainless steel, but it's heavily pocketed in there. But look at this blade. Ooh, and that action. So you got this nice drop point, they're calling it. But that looks like a spear point to me. It looks like that's in the center. It don't matter. It's going to be a versatile blade. You can get the tip down on things to do a drag cut. Uh, In-hand cuts, good because you got enough straight edge. Cutting on a flat cutting surface, good as well. And another reason why I picked this one up is because this one is in 14C28 in steel. They usually use D2. I forget. I think this was around 60 bucks. And then there's a 10% off discount coupon on Amazon. They have this blade shape. They have a clip point blade shape. They have one that's that they're calling a worn cliff but it looks just like this blade shape except this goes down straight right here <laughs> it's not really a worn cliff in my opinion because uh worn cliffs usually have straight edges this it, it has this same belly to it but whatever and for some reason the worn cliff one maybe because it has a little bit less material is a little bit cheaper at 54 dollars i'm sure these will probably drop down in price a little bit once they've been around this looks like a new design for them nice and smooth and the only thing is this pot clip is stainless steel now it has some spring to it. it is a little tight it might break in flow through construction like i said heavy skeletonization but if you want to see how this one performs i will have a snippet of it in my top 10 video that i got coming pretty darn soon along with and i know a lot of people have been waiting for it that edc fix blade 10 I think it's either five or ten edc fixed blades under a hundred dollars video that's coming soon as well so that's going to do it for today's video tell me what y'all think about these new knives and let me know what you think about the jrw edc fixie and the products from them like i said i've been enjoying their stuff for quite some time now and it's really cool to be able to work with them especially being their u.s company i love that what do y'all think about the new mini nightshade and what do y'all think about this new company that i'm working with aurora blade and this is the casanova designs black swan 
you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace. E -e 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 -e